channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is JC. I am the owner creator here at Mother Esque Bath and Body LLC. All right, I'm going to insert a clip of me making these the other day. All right, guys, here I'm just using cemental. It's at a four to one ratio. So basically you just want the consistency of that of a pancake. Um, now, initially I got my information uh, from Kayla from the Wise All Candles. She has a YouTube channel and I watched her um, videos on it and I found it to be very informative. I'll link her below so you can go and check those out yourself. Um, I'm using Craft Smart Paint. I did want to have a pink batter. It didn't really turn out the greatest for me, um, but I was going with it, so I did that throughout this clip here. It's a good thing to use warm water instead of cold water because if you do the latter, you're going to get your um, cement set up really, really quick versus if it's warm, it will stay a little bit more pliable. I didn't do that here, so you'll see me struggling here. I add more water, but Basically, I really had to work hard and try to just get it down there as fast as possible. Anyway, those are my tips. So if you want to just go ahead and watch this, I'm just showing you how I set it up. It is a really windy day out. I was trying to get better lighting for you guys, but it didn't really work out that great. Everything was flying away. Now I did some more since that time and when I initially started it was going to be pink but I've decided to add my own take on it and change things up a little bit and make these a little bit more girly girl. So all right so these I previously um, unmolded and then I thought I should show you how I'm doing it. Um, they're a little bit tricky. Um, you just got to stick with this. Takes a little muscle. <laughs> okay. So the thing is you want to get it up over this lip. There's a lip here and that's the hardest part. So Got it. And that's what she looks like. Let's see. All right. And there's the other one. Can you see the inside of that? It's just pretty. So there's a little bit of bubbling in here and I don't actually mind that at all. I think it adds a little bit of character, but if you wanted to go back, um, you could go ahead and get some of your mixture, just put a little bit on your finger and then rub it into all those little holes. Is there some over here? I'm not gonna do that. It's fine for the design I'm going with, but um, one thing I would do, I'm going to go get my sandpaper and I'm going to sand this down so that this is nice and smooth because this is really sharp. I got a cut here from when I was doing one of these. I didn't get that out right away and I cut myself. So you don't want your customers to be, you or your customers if you're selling these, to be cutting themselves. So let me go get my sandpaper. I can write it in the description below what's, what grain it was, but basically I'm just going to round this off. This is all good up here. It feels fine. Um, so I'm going to do that with all these and then I will come back and show you how I am going to design these. And what I'm using is this uh, polyacrylic protective finish. And I'm going to be using this to 
get some of this pink on here and move it in and then I will also be using these foil flakes. Um, these are Heidi Swaps. I really like these. They're really pretty. Um, so let me get this open back up again. Okay, and now this sounds kind of funny, but I'm going to be using a bag. And put some paint on there. Now. Okay, so I'm going to start on the inside because that's the one I want dry first. And I'm just going to take this in here. Um, and I'm doing pink on the inside. And basically, I'm just going to go around like this. So... Work in a little section here. Okay. Let's see. So why this is wet. I will dip it in here grab just a little bit of my foil and I'm just going to work it into the top and it doesn't have any rhyme or reason how I'm doing it So there we have it. Um, we are just going to let it dry. You can just go ahead and put some more of this on there as a coat, but you're going to let this dry for a good 24 hours. All right, guys, and that is how I make my foiled cement candle holders. They could be used for a variety of things. And they will be available on my website and also in my Etsy shop. So hope you guys learned something and enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, give me a comment, 
share. I appreciate all your guys' support. Thank you so much. Have a great day.